But we owe God unwavering allegiance because of what his son Jesus, our Messiah, has done for us and because he made us and he is our creator. We have other plans in our life. We have free will to make decisions and plan our lives, but God just wants us to obey him. He wants us to love him with all our heart and our mind and our soul Uh, which could be a radical shift for people to go that far. Everything, all of your being needs to love God. And we need to love him so much that it's not lip service, but we have to uh, love him and do his will. And by doing, you are going to obey. The more we do, the more we'll obey. The more we obey, the more we will see that he desires to bless us as we bless him. And loving God means that we love him so much that we are willing to do whatever he asks of us. We love him so much that we want to cleave to him. We want to immerse our very being into his so that he flows through us to impact the world. Like I said, we're flawed individuals. Even when he calls us into roles that he has, uh, he wants us to work with him, to serve him. And that's why he gives us instructions on how to live and how to interact with him and how we are to interact with other people. And we may be flawed, but we're not forsaken. Psalm 138 says, The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Even leaders, when they mess up, find out that God will use them to fulfill his purposes. And the same is true for those who are not leaders. Although we're all leaders in some way. But God has a purpose for us, and he will use us for that purpose and sometimes We need correction to get back on course to be used for his purpose.